I woke up this morning and I looked around and I noticed the sun was coming up and it looked like it was going to be a marvelous day and so far it is. <clears throat> and I thought, you know what? It's great to be alive. And nothing spectacular is going on in my life. It's just every once in a while you have a bit of serendipity, a realization that things are okay um, and that it's not bad at all. I've got an excellent staff that are also my friends, um, you know, and they do their thing and they do it well. And um, I get to work in my volunteer job with a bunch of technically minded geeks that are wonderful, um, you know, and it just, life, life is pretty good. And I'm always struck when I talk to uh, people that have had uh, backgrounds that have led them to some pretty dark places. Most of them have managed to figure out a way through the dark. Uh, and you can put in the dark whatever you want. It's way too varied to even attempt to qualify. Um, and it seems to me that at the end of the day, the people that put in the effort of figuring out their emotions, uh, not just sitting down with... with um, the world and going, that's it, I'm done. Those are the ones, regardless of their backgrounds, who you just kind of go, wow, man, you're rocking. Or, wow, lady, you're rocking. <clears throat> or, wow, whoever, you're rocking. And it, it's, it's really hardening. Um, I was speaking to someone who used to be one of the early graphic designers for the Knowledge Network. And for those that don't know, the Knowledge Network is a non-profit TV station uh, in British Columbia. And they started out basically to spread courses and knowledge and um, to meet one of the almost founding people. And uh, this person has had a very difficult back, uh, uh, background due to a illness and yet they're still going and they're still rocking she doesn't do graphic design anymore or animation but nothing much is going to stop this lady and that is so heartening and I'm so grateful to just you know be grooving and then I go downstairs in my building and this is going to lead into another article I did last week about some people that feel entitled, um, you know, and they have this attitude of, well, I'm disabled, therefore the world owes me a lot. Well, no, no, it doesn't. Um, you are alive. That's pretty much the only, the only agreement the world made with you. Um, and we are going to be losing a, um, member of our staff at the end of the month uh, because their funding is up and they were brought on board during COVID uh, just to aid people uh, to do small tasks and, um, you know, we couldn't go out. So this person was kind of the, okay, I can do it for you <clears throat> kind of thing. And, um, one of the things she did, and normally in my building, we have lunch and dinner provided. Um, and it's excellent, excellent, by the way. We have a full-blown chef. Um, 
And so she decided um, that she'd provide an informal breakfast. And uh, I'd completely forgotten about it all the way through COVID since I only eat once a day anyway. And that's my choice. I've always been that way. And uh, I went downstairs to drop off a repaired phone for a fella. And I went right into the breakfast area. And I went, oh, yeah, we have breakfast nowadays. And that's going to be ending at the end of the month. And all they could do was grumble. Um, they they weren't, they, they like, if you really wanted to continue the breakfast, then I'd be going, okay, can we get other funding? How can we make this work? Um, you know, can we get a volunteer in? Uh, can we get uh, an organization or even a company involved? Uh, you know, some sort of, there's all sorts of ways. Anyway, the point is <clears throat> that um, to those that are feeling downtrodden, um, realize that you're alive and you can change. Now, even if you're in tremendous pain, that's a different ball game because the, that may be something beyond your control. Um, in which case, do what you need to do. And if there's drugs or medications, go for it. And don't beat yourself up over it. Um, you know, but if you're okie dokie and, and uh, disabled, uh, don't sit in your apartment or house and just sort of stay still. Um, the world is not going to change for you, and change doesn't come knocking. Yeah, you've got to initiate the change. And um, I, once I post this video, I'm going to go out for a walk. It's a beautiful Sunday day, and once again, I've talked a little longer than I planned. And uh, yeah, so everybody... Uh, cherish what you've got, appreciate what you've got, because everything is temporary, and you might as well go for the good stuff. All right, rock on, have an excellent Sunday, or whatever day it happens to be, or night when you listen to this. Take care, bye-bye.